I want to talk to you for about three minutes. That's not a very long time to hear something really important. I don't know about you, but I think sometimes religion is very, very confusing, isn't it? One church says something, another church says something else, and we have all sorts of rules, and you think, I don't know what's real, I don't know what's true, what should I follow and believe? May mga simbahan na nagsasabi ng ganito, yung iba naman ganito, ngayon hindi ko na alam kung ano ang dapat kong paniwalaan. If you'll give us your ears for three minutes, we'll make it very simple for you. Kung papakinggan niyo kami ng mga tatlong minuto, ay magiging simple ito sa inyo para maintindihan. Here's the first thing you need to know. Ito yung una ninyong dapat malaman. You see a big heart right here? Nakikita niyo pa yung malaking puso na nakalagay dito? Oh, that heart is to help you know that God loves you. Pusong ito ay pinapakita na kayo ay mahal ng ating Diyos. You may say, God doesn't love me. I'm a bad person. I've had too many problems. Minsan sasabihin natin na hindi tayo mahal ng Panginoon at marami ako mga problema. God doesn't love me because I'm not a member of a church. Hindi ako mahal ng Diyos dahil hindi ako member ng isang simbahan. But that's not true. God loves you because He made you. Hindi yun totoo. Mahal tayo ng Panginoon dahil tayo ay ginawa ng Diyos. And you may not know it and you may not feel it, but God loves you. Hindi nyo man maramdaman yun, pero ang totoo, mahal tayo ng Diyos. But you need to know something else also. Pero dapat din yung malaman. There's a big X that tells us something else very important. May malaking X dito na magpapakita sa iyo ng isang importanteng bagay, mensahe. And that big X says that even though God loves us and wants to have a relationship with us, we have really messed up our lives sometimes. May magpapakita na kahit tayo mahal ng Panginoon, ang totoo, tayo ay nagpapakita ng kasalan. I've made mistakes that I can't change. Nagkasala ako na hindi ko ako na kayang ibaguhin pa. I've done things I wish I hadn't done. May mga ginawa kong bagay na sana hindi ko ginawa. I've made choices that have caused bad trouble to people, even people that I love. May mga desisyon na kong ginawa na hindi na pati man sa ating mga mahal na sa buhay ang nasaktan ko sila. So number one, God loves me. Yung una ay mahal ako ng Diyos. But number two, I've really messed up things. But here's the good news in number three. Pero ito ang magandang balita sa pangatlo. Because God loves you, dahil mahal tayo ng Panginoon, and because you've made bad mistakes in your life, dahil tayo ay nagkamali, nagdesisyon ng mga bagay na hindi maganda sa buhay natin, God gave a good plan to help you with the things that have happened in your life. Ang Diyos ay naggawa ng plano para matulungan tayo para baguhin natin ang ating mga pagkakamali. This is a symbol that everybody knows. Ito yung simbolo na halos lahat ay alam. And it's a symbol of the cross. At ito ay yung simbolo ng cross. And we know what the cross is about. The cross is about Jesus because He went to the cross. At alam natin ay cross ay nagsisimbolo kay Jesus Cristo dahil siya ay namatay sa cross. And at the cross, He took care of all the problems and the bad choices that you and I have made with our lives. At sa cross na yun ay pinigyan niya ng solusyon yung mga problema natin at mga masasamang bagay na ginawa natin sa cross. Because of God's love, dahil sa pag-ibig ng Diyos, He sends Jesus Pinadala niya si Jesus Cristo to take care of the mess of our lives. 
para bigyan ng solusyon yung naging problema ito sa buhay. So there's only one more thing you have to think about. Pero na lang kayong isang bagay na dapat isipin. And that's the last symbol. It's a question mark. At ito ay, ay yung dulo na question mark. And the question is, at yung tanong ay, what are you going to do about what you've just heard? Ano ang gagawin nyo sa mga narinig nyo explanation dito? What I've told you is true. Ang sinabi ko sa inyo ay totoo. It's very simple. Ito ay simple lamang. And now the choice is yours. At ngayon, ikaw ang magpidesisyon. What will you do with what you have heard? Ano ang gagawin mo sa inyong napakigat? You have received a small piece of paper. Matanggap niyo yung maliit na papel na ito. And if you say, I want to talk to God, but I don't know how, kung sinasabing mo na gusto mo makausap ang Diyos, pero hindi mo alam ang gagawin, on the back side of this paper is a very simple prayer that you can talk to God. Sa likod ng papel na ito ay may simpleng panalangin na makakapag-usap ka sa Panginoon. He wants to hear you because He loves you. Gusto niyang marinig sa inyo dahil mahal ka ng Diyos. And if you talk to Him today, this is the day that your life will change. At kung makikipag-usap ka ngayon sa Kanya, ang buhay mo at araw na ito ay makabago. I hope you choose to receive God's love today. Alamin ko na sana ay piliin nyo na Piliin niyo ang Diyos sa araw na ito. May God bless you. Uh, kayo ay pagpalaan ng Panginoon.